Hello again, YouTubers, Ultimate SpongeBob 101 back here again on the Other Stuff channel. Today we have another Pokemon unboxing and review video. This is also a mail day video because the product we are talking about today, or at least in this video, is in a package. This came in from Amazon Japan. I'm really excited to open it up. Here is what it looks like. I've removed the label and I have my pair of scissors off to the side here. So um, as you can read from the title and see from the uh, thumbnail it is a book a book that was released just a couple of days ago i'm recording this on april 19th so let me just quickly get this open there we go all right a little bit more i probably should just cut through this portion and then this thing will come up all right so opening this up and flipping it around you can see right there we have the book that is the subject of this video it is none other than the pokemon legends arceus strategy guide book this is entirely in japanese and was released just on saturday april 20 oh april 16 excuse me i was gonna say 26 i don't know why but here is a look at the spine. It says Nintendo Switch there, the Pokemon Legends Arceus logo in Japanese, Pokemon Legends, and there's this little foldy thing that I will show shortly. On the back, we've got Arceus, as well as some uh, information about what the book contains and price 1,500 yen. So of course, it was not 1,500 yen for me. I had to pay for shipping, but honestly, condition-wise, it looks really, really good. I've seen photos of, um, the book being damaged in transit for Japanese customers. Of course, there is a couple of dings there, but it's okay because unfortunately it is not sealed. It would be even cooler if it was sealed, but yeah, that is the book. So without further ado, let's get Now I'm actually going to be doing another video. So the video that you are watching right now is going to be a quick overview and review of this book. If you want to see a whole in-depth page by page coverage of what is in this book, every single page in this book, feel free to check out our Pokemon channel. It's called The Daily Porygonia. I will link the video in the description box below as well as the channel. I think that video should go up shortly after this one. So uh, if you're watching in a few hours after this video comes up, that video should be up as well. So again, that video will feature a walkthrough of every single page in this book. For the purposes of this video, I do wanna go through the main points of the book here. So first off, removing this outer cover, uh, you can see that it's like most Japanese books. Um, there's like a grayscale version of the inside book, which I think is interesting. You know, I've, I've never actually bought a Japanese book before. This is literally the first time. So inside, you can see there's nothing on the inside. There's no poster or anything. It just has some advertisements for the Sword and Shield guidebook, the Let's Go guidebook, Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon, Sun and Moon, um, Sun and Moon Pokedex. And behind this as well, we've got Oh wow, it goes all the way back. We've got Omega Ruby, Alpha Sapphire, Pokemon X and Y, Pokemon Black 2, Y2. Wow, that is some um, throwback right there. <laughs> you wouldn't see something like that in Western media. Like once uh, the production or the marketing cycle for something is over, it kind of goes away for quite a while. All right, so let's begin our quick look at the book. Again, if you want to see a page by page a look at everything in the book, check out our video on the Daily Porygonian. So we start off here with uh, the contents page as well as I think this is like a checklist for what you get to do in or like stuff you cover in the game essentially. You've got some controls and the first portion here has maps of all the various areas. So we've got the obsidian field lands, the I'm missing a page here. Crimson Marlins, Cobalt Coastlands, uh, the, what was it again? Coronet Highlands and Alabaster Icelands. So yeah, those are the maps. Then we go into more specific um, area by area maps with the Pokemon in them, right? So we've got the Obsidian Fieldlands one, the Crimson Marlins one, more of that and then Cobalt Coastland. So basically these maps are something you don't really see in English guides. But again, because Pokemon Legends Arceus is such a different game from previous guides, you know, this guide should be very much different from the others. And actually we will be seeing a lot of different things in this book as compared to the English guides. I'm pretty sure a lot of the English guides do take inspiration from the Japanese guides, but they're not published by the same publisher anyway. 
Perhaps the only thing taken by English versions of guides are the screenshots or maps or just icons. But yeah, we've got, a, you know, where to find all the wisps, which is pretty useful. You know, of course, you can always search up on the internet how to do that. But uh, we've got a map right here. We've got all the unknown locations as well. Uh, that's really cool. And then where all the treasure that Ursaluna can dig up is located. And then we move on to, I think this is the characters portion. Um, again, I do not read Japanese, so we'll just go through this and assume what we can assume. <laughs> we've got Adam and Irida here. We've got the protagonist, Professor Laventon, um, all the various characters. And then we move on to the next section. Oh, this portion is actually kind of interesting. So let me just go back. Yeah, so it starts here and it talks about all the legendary Pokemon that you can catch in this game. And even Spiritomb is considered a pretty rare Pokemon as well. And then next page, we've got information on, I don't know what this is. We've got Arceus there, we've got the Pokedex, we've got the forces of nature and even Alolan Vulpix. So I guess they're referring to cool Pokemon. We've got the starter Pokemon over there. And then Drifloon is also um, presumably a rarer Pokemon. This page refers to the crossover bonuses. So if you have save data for these games, you can actually get bonuses in Pokemon Legends Arceus as well, uh, which we have covered on the Daily Porygonian channel before. So yeah, if you guys are interested in Pokemon generally, um, a lot of our Pokemon content from here on out will be on that channel specifically. So do check it out. We've got his Sue informs as well as the new ver new Pokemon. Uh, introducing the new Pokemon. We've got all of, all of those. And then, oh, the Pokeballs that we can use in this game as well. And then moving on, we've got information about, oh, Pokemon, evolution, uh, EVs, uh, or basically the stats. Uh, how to read the Pokedex, which is pretty cool. And then... Oh, they, okay, that was uh, not expected, but you've got the phone. They actually talk about shiny Pokemon in this book, which is pretty impressive. They don't really put too much emphasis on that. We've got, uh, you know, more of the throwing mechanics of Pokeballs. Really, really cool. And then finding Pokemon, uh, battling Pokemon, how to weaken them. So basically the, the mechanics of the game. Now I think this portion is where we start getting into the story. So I'm really not sure because I'm, I'm just guessing here that we've got the different appliances that Rotom can inhibit. Um, the photo studio as well. I think this is like the story, yeah, the general store. So like stuff that you can buy from, uh, no, this, the crafting guy, not the store, excuse me. So yeah, this one, however, is the store guy. So I think his name is Choi. I could be wrong, but yeah, Choi and Tao Hua, the two rivaling um, people there, because Choi wants to marry his uh, Tao Hua's granddaughter or something. I don't know. I can't remember. <laughs> okay, so we've also got uh, what else here? Some information, more information, and a, a little bit about day, midday, um, dusk, and night as well. How to evolve some of these Pokemon. Oh, they actually talk about the space-time distortions as well. That's really cool. Okay, we got more info in that. And then, what is this? So this is the... Well, we do have listings of some Pokemon. Again, this actually includes the Pokedex, which is like takes up half the book here. Which we will speed through later because, again, I'm going through all of that in the... Uh, video on the daily programming but yeah we've got the items log here and then we go on to the actual walkthrough i think this is yeah this is the beginning of the walkthrough so we've got the first portion um then the yeah so cleavor then we've got so it doesn't actually go through exactly what you need to do or it summarizes what you need to do it doesn't go step by step into exactly what you need to do but roughly what you need to do which is okay you know so the rest of the walkthrough actually goes by really quick so we're already here at mesprit or yuxi and yeah the P primal dialga palkia as well so then we look at how you can i don't know version differences i guess that's what they're talking about no not really Finding Pokemon, perhaps. <laughs> or maybe the missions. I think these are the missions. Yeah, now that I look at it, these are actually the missions. So it tells you what you need to do. Like, for example, mission number, or request number 66 is the Seize Legend one, right? So it tells you exactly what you need to do uh, to complete the mission. So that's really nice. Um, 
considering how many there are, it's kind of interesting that it's almost as thick as the walkthrough portion, <laughs> which is pretty funny. Uh, but it does not have any information about the Daybreak DLC, just to be sure. So if you guys were wondering if this is actually hiding any secrets, no, this actually only contains information about the base game, not the downloadable content, unfortunately. So we've got the battles, we've got Heatran and Cresselia, and even uh, this is what you do in the post game, by the way. So the Volo battle, you know, the uh, one of the most horrifying battles in Pokemon thus far. We've got Arceus as well. And then going on to... Oh, actually, no, there is coverage of the Daybreak update. So, yeah, this is missions number 95 to 102. These are part of the Daybreak update. So I take back my words. Uh, it turns out that uh, Daybreak update is actually covered in this book as well, which means that there might not be any more DLC because it'd be kind of strange if they released this right now and then decide to, uh, you know, introduce more DLC. So I think Legends Arceus, like BDSP, is pretty much done at this point. We've got the Path of Solitude missions from 108 to 122, so it tells you exactly what you need to do for those, uh, which Pokemon you will be battling, and then, um, yeah, so very cool. A little bit more customization there or for the photo club, not the photo club, the what do you call it? The studio, yeah. And then we have a list of Pokemon here. I'm not exactly sure what these are supposed to be. I think they're gender differences. They might be gender differences. I can't really tell because we don't have all of the Pokemon, but we just have some. So, <laughs> yeah, random. Okay. Oh, maybe that's like for a certain region of the game, of a certain area of the game. We've got more information about the legendaries. Okay, so the, these are the noble Pokemon now. We've got Cleavor, Liligant, um, all of these guys, the bosses essentially. Oh, we got more. So, yeah, I think that is actually the list of um, Pokemon you can catch in each area. So, I think we're going to go on to the Cobalt Coastlands. Uh, soon we've got the trainer customization. Super cool that they have literally all the icons, the designs that you can purchase in. And Legends Arcus has a lot of trainer customization built in. So uh, personally, my favorite game for trainer customization so far. Oh, by the way, they actually t tell you how to trade Pokemon here. So it's pretty useful. We've got, yeah, so in terms of like trainer customization, my favorite so far is still X and Y followed by... Um, Galar, Sword and Shield, but yeah, still pretty cool. They actually compare areas to those in Sinnoh, in uh, the original Diamond and Pearl. You notice, they're actually using the designs from original Diamond and Pearl or Platinum, not BDSP. So that's kind of interesting, you know, that they decided to do that. But again, because Game Freak probably provided all of the insight for this one, they just decided to use what they already had. Okay, so now we come to the um, cool are, well, designs, or the concept art, excuse me. I just, that term just el eluded me for a while there. But yeah, we've got Ingo there. We've got the characters. Nothing too special. Some of this actually has been included in the Pokemon Center art book that they released uh, as a pre-order gift. So now we come over to the Pokedex here. And yeah, I'm gonna just skip through this. Honestly, Pokedex, uh, I am not super stoked about it because there's... It's kind of like the same with every single guy, you know. We Of course, we do have new Pokemon in this game, but really, I just want to show you guys the page for Arceus here. So, yeah, Arceus is right here. You can see the moves, stats, all of that. And then, um, yeah, pretty much that is the Pokedex. That's how it looks, at least. And then we go on to the next segment here, talking about the unknown, as well as other forms of Pokemon. So, like Cherim, Shellos and Gastrodon, Rotom... Dialga, Palkia, Giratina, Shaman, and even Arceus. So Arceus's plates can be used to change its um, typing. Then we've got the Forces of Nature, and then finally we end off with the Alabaster Islands Pokemon. This last section here is basically the move log, as well as I think the item's um, abilities or something like that. But yeah, I'm not really going to go through that uh, unless there's anything important. Oh, we got a type matchup chart here. That's pretty cool. That's usually in the back of most uh, strategy guides, both Japanese and English. We've got all the legendary Pokemon. And uh, what else? Yeah, so as I said, the item guide. Kind of reminds me of normal English guides, honestly. So again, this was released April 16, 2022. This little pullout here, you can cut open and find a code for 50 
nuggets or something like that and it's redeemable until uh, May 31st, 2023. I'm not going to be opening that, but yeah, so that is your quick look at the book. This video was, was still ended up being sort of long. But anyways, if you guys want to see a more in-depth page-by-page review of this book, again, link to the video is in the description box below. Thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe, like, favorite, comment, etc. Keep right here on, on the Other Stuff channel brought to you by Ultimate Sponge 101. Till next video, see you guys later. Bye! Bye.